we'll start. Um, give us your name and uh, the medium you work in. So my name is Chris Walters, and I am a photographer. So I work in photography. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about your education and background. Um, so I don't come from a traditional arts background. Um, my undergrad was in philosophy, religion, and English, and my master's was in international development. And I was in the Peace Corps and lived internationally. Um, but I still took a lot of these philosophy, religion, and English classes that informed a lot of aesthetics and, and how to look at the world and view the world. And, and so it sort of uh, gave me the, the philosophical background versus the technical background of, of being an artist. What inspired you to um, become a photographer? Um, I've always loved being a photographer, always loved taking pictures. Um, in terms of actually branching out past taking photos for my own personal use or family or anything like that, it, you know, when I started, moved to Corning, worked at the Arts Council at Southern Fair Lake during my interview, um, Ginny Loopy sort of asked me, she was the director at the time, and asked me if I was getting anything. I said, well, I'm a photographer. And she said, okay, well. Okay, good. And so she encouraged me to, I think, exhibit and get my stuff out there for the first time. And then definitely my like, current boss, Connie, and then um, my wife absolutely inspires me and, and keeps me going. And um, But then outside of that, I think just general like, authors or cinematographers, people like that, that I've, I've seen how they present their world to the public and see the way I can do that as well with my own photography. Well, it does... Does the work that you uh, submitted for Mosaic, is there an overlying theme or what was the inspiration behind that? Um, so the, the big inspiration is is one that, that for me, like so I, I, like I said, I, I have a different background, I think. I'm not originally from the Corning area. Um, my, all my work is featured is featuring Corning shots. Um, but, you know, I lived in overseas for a number of years. I've traveled to like 40 different countries. I grew up military, so grew up all over the country. Um, so seeing the world from a different perspective, I think, is something that has just been part of my life and part of my upbringing. And to come here as an outsider, and I think getting to see courting from a different perspective, especially through my photography, um, is something I like to share. And, and so for my exhibit, it's all going to be featured work from Corning. Um, it's all in black and white, which I think is a nice kind of format sometimes I work in. Um, so it's nice to share that. And then, uh, you know, a lot of the shots are with wide angle lenses, even though it's a square format. So I crop down to, to fit the format of mosaic, but it's still these kind of big shots that, you know, you might not necessarily see um, just walking by. And so I hope giving giving the city a different perspective than people are used to. And, you know, if you ever drive them over the bridge and they see a strange person in muck boots down by the river and a tripod, that's probably me. So it's, it's nice to share some of those photos with everybody. Um, so that was the main uh, inspiration for this. Why do you believe art is important? All right. So, uh, you know, for a couple of reasons. I mean, one, especially something like Mosaic, where, you know, it's almost like everyone has their mini solo show. You got 16 pieces and you have this vision. So it's, it's a way that you can express yourself to express a particular vision or a voice that, that you think is important to share. So it's that outlet for that. Um, but just particularly during COVID, I mean, right now, artists' livelihoods have been upended in terms of, of what people have opportunities to do and to get their work out there. So just as the opportunity to present your work, is something that's really important. And then um, my boss likes to say that arts are foundational to the human condition. And I mean, I think particularly with the community that we live in, it's there's such a vibrant part of, of what makes this region so special. Um, and so I think they're important for that reason. They're important right now during COVID for, you know, arts have always been part of disaster, resiliency, community building, frontline responders. So I think it's, just, it's an important thing that we, we not only celebrate, but support in any way we can. All right, so that's everything I have. I didn't know if you had anything else you wanted to add that we might have to discuss. Um, just to continue like that last thought, just like, you know, for people, support art, so support artists, um, support your museums, your galleries, and whether that's, you know, if you can't, um, you know, buy a piece, but share the work that people are doing, um, help promote things, you know, do everything you can. Because I think, with, especially artists, musicians in particular, I mean, everyone has suffered um, differently, but, you know, in, in terms of people that can actually teach and do things um, and live performance and stuff, people are still struggling. So I think finding any ways you can to support the arts community is really great right now. So.